In this video, we shall have a look at two features in Excel, Flash Fill and Text to Columns. Flash Fill is quite a new feature in Excel 365. So let's have a look at our worksheet. We have three worksheets, Example, Exercise and Text into Columns. On the example, we have three columns. First name in column A, last name in B, and the full name in C. If you knew no difference, you'd probably end up typing in the full name in C, either manually or via a formula. You can use concatenate for this, or the ampersand symbol. Or indeed, let's try the new flash fill. So let's see how it works. On the exercise sheet, we have similar first and last names in columns A and B. So let's put our cursor into cell C2 and type in Terry Smith. Excel begins to recognise there is some logic in what we are doing in column C. So as we begin to type in Josh Lacey, watch what happens. I type in the Josh and in lighter grey text, the rest of the column is simply filled out. Just Lacey, Mark Belter, Simon Ward. So it saves us having to do a formula and indeed having to do lots of typing. Really simple feature there called Flash Fill. Let's move on to a different worksheet now called Text into Columns. We've got two examples to go through here. This time we'd like to have the Christian name in column A and the surname in column B. However, we actually have the full name in column A. So we first of all select column A, go into the tab called Data, and the button called Text to Columns, and a wizard appears. Now a delimiter in Excel is simply a separator. It could be a comma, a tab, a space, a hyphen, a slash. Clearly we have a space before the Christian name and the surname. Next. So I'm going to select space as opposed to comma and already the preview gives you Christian name and surname as you can see with the line between the two, the column line. Next. We're going to leave the formatting as general. Click on finish and there we have it. Simply rename the headings surname and that's called text to columns. Let's see a different example now. This is quite common because quite often Excel is used as the area of software where you import data from a foreign system. So here we have addresses simply kept in one column. 15 High Street, comma, Erdington, comma, Birmingham. I like to have those in separate columns. 15 High Street in one column, the town in another, and the city in a third. So how does this work? Once again, data tab, text of columns. We're looking at a delimiter, next, but this time the separator is indeed a comma, not a space. You can see already we have first line of the address, town, and then city or county. Next, we're going to leave the formatting as it is, finish, and there you have it. And you can simply rename that as address line one, perhaps call and D1 town, and then, I don't know, let's call it county. It could of course be city. Just widen the columns a bit, and there you have. Takes the columns. Now there's just one small thing I'd like to just show you now. Because in the original address, we had a, we had a space before the town, with comma space Erdington, comma space Marlow. You can see there you've got a space E space N. See that from the actual formula bar. Now you could of course remove the space by using the backspace key, but I just want to show you a new feature called, well new, not so much new, but maybe new to you, called trim. We're going to trim out the space equal, the function is called trim, and it simply trims out the redundant space. Double click, 
and there you have it. So you can use trim then to just tidy up your data. That's the end of our video. Flash fill and text to columns.